Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be episode 30 of my gameplay series on No Man's Land. We're finally cooking along pretty good on the series. Uh, but yeah, so we have our sawmill here. This is not the load we had last episode. This is a new load that I made because I wanted to take my thumbnail, which you probably recognize that image kind of area set there um, from the last time. But um, if we go in here, uh, 12,110, let's go ahead and dump this load in here. 26,000, perfect, okay, good. Good, 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 good. It is doing good. Uh, manufacturing stuff. And again, we're going to sell those planks to um, hopefully the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, oh gosh, the furniture store. William's Furniture. But in the meantime, we did get a subscriber contract a little while ago. And since we can fulfill it right now, I decided to go ahead and take it. I kind of forgot about it. Um, but this is one from Nicholas Todd. So thank you, Nicholas Todd. He said, love your series. I have been watching since the first No Man's Land started. Here's a subscriber contract for you, as if you didn't have enough. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Tree, T-R-E-E, -E, Todd Racing and Engine Enterprises, is needing 20,000 liters of corn uh, to make race fuel for the upcoming season. Uh, due to bad storms in the Midwest, uh, oh gosh, where was that? Due to bad storms in the Midwest, their normal supplier has run and short on their production. We'll pay for shipping and delivery. So all we have to do is get them the corn. Um, and we'll sell them just whatever a high price is in the store since it's a subscriber contract, so we'll sell them for that. Um, and he said to take it to this place called, I guess, Lucky's Logistics or Logistics or something like that. Um, and he gave me the address, and it wasn't an address I recognized in town, but I mean I recognize the street, so I'm assuming it's probably there, but oh gosh, we got a lot of honey. So we're going to try to take it to that address here in a second. But we have obviously plenty of corn, if you remember. Um, from all of our endeavors, we have 45,000 liters right now. So we'll take that over to him. I think that's a good use of 20,000 liters. And it'll be another, another subscriber contract off the books there. Knocked out and finished up. I'm just going to move that off. These apparently will still fill if you keep... I've had them still keep filling after you move them around a little bit. So hopefully that's the case still. Oop. I need to slow myself down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Let's grab this guy. We are getting a lot of honey, which is great. We need it. We need it. Even if we don't need it, we can sell it really for a good price. So that's yeah, got a good thousand price per thousand liters, I believe. What is honey selling for, actually? Um, where are you at, honey? Right there. Yeah, not bad. So thousand for a thousand, just about somewhere in there. So not too bad. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six thousand there. So almost, uh, yeah, about seven thousand. Yeah, just over 7,000, so it's pretty good. Anyhow, get that out of the way. Uh, yeah, so we're going to grab that. And one other thing I want to mention while we're grabbing the corn real quick. I'm just going to pull this off to the side because we're going to have to use this trailer again pretty soon. Because I want to get the forestry done today. Is uh, So we are silver partners with Giant Software. I'm a silver partner. Um, I'm the only silver partner actually in the United States that I'm aware of. Um, I actually think that's still pretty accurate. But anyhow, um, we're trying to get to gold. So how do we get to gold? How does Giants measure it? Well, we need 20,000 euros in revenue um, generated. So um, right now we're at about eight or 9,000, somewhere in that range. So we need that to happen in 18 months. So I've been doing giveaways and that does help. Um, but the way you can help out is if you use any of the links down below in the description um, to we'll go ahead and get 20,000, let me focus on this so I don't overload us. But, uh... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so we'll take this over to where we need to take it. But uh, yeah, so the way you can help out is if you use either promo code FarmerCop when you check out on Giant Software website, um, or if you buy any of the DLCs using the links down below in the description, um, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It's the same price for you. So it's really not any extra work or anything like that for you. Um, just use those links or use FarmerCop when you go to check out. Now, I know there's a few things that people worry about in terms of everything. So, one, people say, oh, I play on Steam or Epic or something like that. You can still buy the DLCs um, from those other websites and make them work on Steam and Epic versions of the game. Um, I don't know how to make the Epic ones work, but the Steam ones will work fine if you don't buy them through Steam. Because if you buy them through Steam, um, it doesn't necessarily work. But I've tried it in the past and it has worked. I mean, I guess I haven't tried it recently. so But it should still work. Everything like that should work fine. Um... But uh, yeah, or if you're just having a Giants, if you have a Giants copy of the game, then obviously it works perfect. But uh, yeah, so if you could do that, that would be awesome. If you want to donate any um, money towards the channel to uh, purchase those, or where I can purchase them using that link, and then um, give them away in streams, because I do that. I try to give away three DLCs or Platinum expansions every single stream. Um, so that's 
basically that is essentially supported by you guys. Um, but regardless of that, um, it does go to help support the channel if you do that, and you can use the PayPal link um, that's on my homepage for my channel. It might be down below in the description, I can't remember. Um, and that is uh, just a direct donation, or you can use a, do a super thanks down below, because a lot of people don't know you can do that. It's like a super chat and live stream, but it's down below. But all that support goes towards giveaways and stuff like that for the channel. But anyhow, here we are back in here. Boom, that's our road that we made last time. And here is Lucky's Logistics. Uh, Lucky had Lucky's Logistics on the last um, game through, or game, game play through we did. Um, and he has it here. So let's go ahead and we'll pull it on the scale. Okay, see what we got there. 228.859. Perfect. We'll pull it off. We'll see how much that corn weight. I'm kind of curious. Here we go. We'll go and dump it in this uh, cell point here. But yeah, so Lucky's got, uh, in terms of everything, he's got some trailers over here. This is the bale trailer we saw him use uh, earlier in the series. Um, he's got a side dump there, grain trailer here, animal trailer and a flatbed. And then he's also got, of course, a couple of trucks over here to use. This is probably not all of his trucks. I'm sure some are out and about doing things. But yeah, so he does different uh, transport jobs and stuff like that for us. So we're going to dump this off and then we're going to uh, we'll calculate how much we need to make in a second. So we'll just subtract out what we make from this off of our um, income there. I want you to make 8495. We'll take that out. 8495 because we're going to see how much we're actually supposed to make because we get the topped out prices for corn. Uh, so corn on its best day is 494. So we get 20 times 494 which I'm gonna do some quick math. Oh, I don't even have, my calculator is not, my desk calculator, I gotta get a new one. It does not work as well. Uh, I'm gonna get a new calculator out here. Uh, so 494 times, we had 20,000 liters. So 9880, so that we did make a little bit more off of that. So let's go ahead and put 9880 in and boom, there you go. That contract is done. Nicholas Todd, that is on its way to you. Let's go ahead and get weighed on our way out here. And Lucky, you've got Lucky's Logistics. This is kind of our new business for this episode. Oh yeah, a lot less blade on there. Yeah, 13,000 yeah, 13, versus 28. But there we go. So um, we got that done. What needs to happen today? Well, we need to finish an oat contract that we have going on. We need to get that done. We should have gotten it done last year, but I forgot. So I actually think we're gonna do a big oat harvest. So I wanna plant oats here. Um, and I mean, honestly, we might do, I wanna extend this field back. I wanna make this field well, it kind of hits up against that, so that's part of the problem. Um, but we might loop it. No, I don't really want to loop it. That'd be kind of a wild field. Uh, so we'll probably leave that field alone. But I think we can extend this one out here. I'd like to do that. And then I would want to put another field maybe here and another field here. And that should be very doable. We might actually be able to extend. That field can probably do like this and do like kind of an L here. And then we use this all as like a couple of big fields. And I think that'd be helpful for... Um, obviously our harvest and stuff like that. And I think we'll just do grass down to there and we'll keep doing silage bales there for now. And then we'll run the road along here and then we'll be able to do that down here. And then if we need to, we can get rid of this field and put productions on it. But we also have land over here that we can use. We have a big bunch of land over here. So we're not gonna do anything immediately with all the land over here, but I would like to clear a lot of the trees off of this plot. Well, pretty much all the trees, except for the ones around this rock formation here. I'd like to clear all the trees off of here today and at least start getting some of that done. We'll probably plow the the grass under here that's here because only for the reason that, um, well, actually I might harvest it first, but it's probably pretty close to harvest. Ready? Let's see where it's at. Probably says it's, oh, yeah, it's pretty close. So it's actually, well, I mean, that actually means it's two away. So it's not that big of a deal if we uh, plow that under. So what we might do is plow that under anyways. And then I want to get all the stones out of there. And again, we have our new stone picker, which we're going to use when we're doing all of our fields and stuff like that. And we have corn here. So Unfortunately, after doing corn, um, plowing is required here. So if we even take, we take the weeds off, plowing is now required. So we need to get the plowing done on there um, and all that sort of stuff. And I would like to get these stones taken care of off of that field. But yeah, that's so that's kind of the plan. Um, I'm not sure how much of that will get accomplished today per se, uh, but we are going to try for, for getting all that done. So anyhow, I will be doing a lot of work off camera to get some of the stuff done. I'll probably bring you guys back in for a time lapse of me plowing any new fields in, um, just because that's usually fairly exciting. But in the meantime, I'm gonna work on getting some trees taken care of and put over into our sawmill over here. And then again, it's what, March here. So we have plenty of time. So 
Um, we might have to wait till tomorrow for our sawmill to empty out some. We'll see how much trees we end up getting put into it. But if we have to do that, then tomorrow we'll end up getting the rest of the stuff done because what are we planting? Oats. Uh, yeah, oats are, yeah, we can plant oats tomorrow just fine. And if we have that many fields, we'll probably plant something else as well. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to be. I'm going to review my subscriber contracts and see if there's anything in there we want to get down or plant. Um, but in terms of, we go down to our production. Yeah, we'll need oats. Honestly, we just need a lot of oats because we need them for that subscriber contract. And then the other thing is, yeah, that's just kind of what we need to make um, cereal happen. Um, and obviously we need a lot of grapes, which grapes are slowly happening as best as possible. We had how many grapes, how many raisins? We have 1,018 because we have one pallet out. So we're making progress. Everything's happening. And then I'll just keep taking care of stuff. So I'll bring you guys back in in a bit. I'm not sure when that'll be. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep working on some stuff around the farm. Just checking in with you guys. We're hauling a load of logs here um, back to our sawmill. Yeah, it looks just like a disaster, but there's a lot of trees in there. Took a lot of the little ones out, loaded them up. There's still some good big ones. Um, we also have a another subscriber contract um, for, oh gosh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh, let me look it up here real quick. Where is it at? Um, here we go. Okay, as we're getting down this way. Uh, Coda Craft says, what's up FC? My family has a long, or oh, nope, that's not the right one. My bad. Coda Crafts, we're doing later. This one, Yurox Plays. That's the one I wanted. Um, anyhow, Yurox Plays says, Hi, I'm fairly new to the area and have a proposition for you. I live just outside of uh, your new town and have been recently having some problems with my farm. A uh, tornado came through and wiped out my farm along with it, my poplar farm, so I don't have any wood to rebuild. Uh, if you can spare the lumber, I'd be willing to pay $22,000 for 10,000 liters of wood. It would help me get back on my feet, and I'd be grateful and uh, would also be willing to work with you in the future. Sincerely, uh, Yurok, owner of Yurok's and Farms. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. But uh, yeah, so we're going to get him some good lumber. I thought about getting him this. I was like, you know what? What is he going to build to build with this? S some fence posts, maybe? So this is just kind of garbage lumber. Um, so we're going to dump this off here. Um, so we are going to give him a load. Um, we got 26 in there. Actually, that 6,500 6, about well, that was pretty good. But yeah, so the trees will tell you the weight um, of them. I don't think that equates to liters. It might. 60 is at one point. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't checked that. But anyhow. Um, so uh, overflowing load, like a really nice big load, was about 12 to 13,000 liters. So I'm going to give him slightly less than that to get around an estimated 10,000 liters of wood. Um, so we're going to sell that off to him for 22 grand. That's a great uh, deal for us and it'll help him out. Um, so yeah, to do that, we'll, we'll, we're going to try to get that done. So we are going to do one load of lumber here, I think right now for him. Uh, so I'll get that done and I'll show you guys the load once we get there. But I just wanted to check in with you guys, bring up that subscriber contract and let you guys know that we are going to get hopefully that subscriber contract done today to make us a little bit of extra cash um, going from there. But yeah, as we're doing forestry, our money's going to start going up a little bit quicker because yeah, we're doing forestry. It makes a lot of money. Um, what I've been doing as well out here is I've been um, marking where the trees were before I cut them down so I know where all the stumps are at um, around the map. So costs a little bit of money but it's i think definitely worth it and i went through and i painted over all the bushes to get rid of all those um which actually it's free to paint over the bushes with grass because it's the grass terrain below um and we're just painting over the uh yeah everything so i am going to trim back i think um uh, maybe i don't know i like these trees through here i think these are a good kind of separator for the farm uh, so i actually will probably leave all these trees i think i'm done cutting trees i cut a couple down here that were sticking out a little bit so i'm done cutting trees there i think over here, I'm going to leave all these trees. Um, there's like a couple little spindly ones I took out there. Um, and then here, I'm going to cut out as many as I can. Uh, so I'm going to cut into that corner there as many trees as I can. And then up over here at the top, I'm going to cut as many trees down along this edge that it allows me to, which, I mean, I think I think we should be able to take out a few more of these here. Um, and then we might actually extend the grass field up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be the plan to get the grass field there. I think this needs to be a road through here. I'm going to be honest. I think that needs to be a road. So actually, while we're in here with you guys, I might as well just put, let's put the road in, huh? It's probably not a bad idea. I don't want to try to take out too much of our field if we can avoid it. A little bit is fine. I don't care if I take a little bit of the field out. Grass field I'm going to fix anyways if I need to. There we go. And then... This will get, that's where the old path was. Do some of that. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to try to get 
um, it looking good going up this way. And actually, I think before we do that, let's paint on uh, some plants here. Let's get, where's that meadow grass? It's right somewhere in here. Or no, I think it's about 50, so it's right, probably just below this. There we go, meadow grass. Um, I know it's fully grown right now because we're painting it, but I don't need to get the center, but just get these edges where we're going to want grass anyway, so that way we, can, we don't have to worry about painting it later. We can just put the dirt in and not have to worry about it. I know this cost us this cost us a chunk of cash to paint this in, but that'll be fine through there. Okay, perfect. So now let's go ahead and go back to painting. This is, I believe, the, nope, that's not the texture we have. That's animal mud, sorry. There we go. Glad I did that. So I didn't start painting the wrong thing. It's a little too wide, so I'm going to go down a little bit. Just along there. We'll kind of curve this around that field. Just like that. Doesn't have to be a very wide road. Um, just has to be a road. So we can drive on if we need to, because obviously we can take equipment over top of the field if needed. Uh, but yeah, and I think it'll look nice, kind of help separate it out a little bit. Obviously, this is just going to go up to the border of our property for now, uh, this dirt road, but that's fine. There we go. Yeah, just like that. We'll, we'll go with it just a little past. There we go. Okay, so yeah. Nice little dirt road. I actually, um, I don't like this that much. I'm going to get smaller here. I think we went a little bit too far that way. I want that border to be more there. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll look good. And that's, of course, I'm going to have to go back to plants again. Um, that's okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, plants. Right around here, we got our meadow grass. Just a little bit along there. Okay, beautiful. Nice little road that goes along there. Um, yeah, and in terms of the map, yeah, we'll let that do that. Um, we talked about where to put fields. We're not gonna mess with this area right here either. We're gonna leave this open so we can build stuff here as needed. We'll probably put sheds in here. We'll probably end up tearing our house down eventually, but also, well, I mean, we also have our storage area over here. So I'll just leave that open for now. We're not going to mess with that. We'll leave that kind of as the trees and little grass area there. If we need to, actually, this probably uh, right here would be a good place to start storing our silage bales. Um, so we might do something like that. I mean, let me know what you guys think down in the comments as well. But yeah, we'll extend the grass field out to here. We'll extend this road out to here. And then we'll probably want a road. Now we won't even worry about it. We won't put any more roads in. We'll just do a road out to there. And we'll figure out if we want to put more roads in later. And then I want two fields and then a third wall, then extend the grass field. So that's kind of the plan. Uh, but yeah, just want to bring in, we're not making as much progress as I thought, so we actually may not do too well here in terms of everything. Uh, we added the business in this episode. This might be in the most least exciting episode ever. Um, we'll at least extend the grass field today. So what we'll probably see next is you'll probably see, um, well, I'm going to bring you back in once I have another load of logs here for uh, that contract. And then after that, um, I will extend the grass field out and probably I probably won't even time lapse. I'll just bring you guys back in when that's done and uh, we'll go from there and that'll probably be the end of the episode. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, here is our load for Eurox plays. This is a little bit more than I thought I was given, but it's it's three full trees. And you know what? That's a solid load of lumber right there. Uh, this is probably more closer to 15,000 liters, but that's fine. Um, we're gonna pay, I called Lucky of Lucky Logistics and he's gonna transport this for us. I'm gonna pay him a thousand dollars to transport him over to where he's at so we don't have to drive that far. Uh, since we're busy getting forestry it's about an hour drive where he's from or, or not even quite an hour about 30 minutes or so i mean with a tractor probably close to an hour but 30 minutes drive on the highway he's just outside of town just uh off over in the hills just you can see him in the distance there those hills he's living out over that way but uh anyhow hopefully this helps him out so we'll take this to lucky lucky's logistics so that way we can get it shipped over and then we'll get paid 22,000. So I'm just gonna sell it there and then I'll remove that money and then add in the 22,000 for us. And then obviously I'll take out another thousand because we're paying for the transport. So um, that'll kind of be the plan. I drink your coffee here. Ah, perfect coffee, fantastic, good old coffee. All right, set my coffee mug down here so I can get, oh, don't tip this, don't tip it, don't tip it. Not the best driving there, but that's okay. <laughs> we didn't tip it, so we'll take it. I'm sure this probably weighs quite a bit. We know this is what, 13,000 without anything loaded up, the tractor is? Oh, 10,334, it's a lot. What? 
Oh, the trailer, the other trailer must weigh a lot more. That makes sense, actually. Okay. This should work. I haven't tried this with logs, but this should work. Okay, this is the sell anything point. 11153, and it doesn't want this log for whatever reason. Ignore that. 11153, let's take that out real quick. Okay, now this guy should take this. Get back on the tractor here. Should take this guy. Let's try this. Nope, not registering it. Alright, I know I'm Try not to, I don't use super strength, but we're gonna use it just to it's gotta take this thing. I don't know why it wouldn't take this log. There it goes. 506. Turn that off and then take that 506 out. Then we're gonna remove. Well, actually we'll add first. We'll do our twenty-two thousand for the contract, and then we're gonna remove our one thousand dollar delivery fee. And there we go. We're sitting up pretty good. That was a good sale of wood. And we helped Urox uh plays out, and we're all good. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish up getting our grass fields plowed in and then I will bring you guys back in to wrap up the episode. All right, so we are making progress on our grass field. We will probably have our uh, little friend or helper come help us up here and getting some of the stone picking done while I work on the fields or, you know, something on that, giving some work up here to do. But uh, yeah, we're working on getting this done. It's going good. Um, once we get flipped around here, I'll show you kind of what we got down. There's a couple other trees. I think I think I might be able to get that one. And then there's one other one up next to the field that I might be able to get. I actually went two full plow lengths further over. So this field is two full plow lengths wider than it was before. So we kind of missed out on a lot of land up there. But, yeah, it's all going to work out. So everything's great. Get that down there. Lift this up. Flip around here. Yeah, one more row. We'll be done with this. Looks like after, well, after this row, I should say. Two more total. But one more row after this one. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, yeah. It's looking good. I think this is rounded fairly well. Big, huge grass field. That's huge. That's a huge grass field. I'm actually a little worried about it. Uh, working it's going to take a long time. And this is rounded up here. I actually stepped this, you can see a little bit here about that wide. I stepped this back off of the edge of the property a little bit. Because um, I thought that would be fine. But, uh, yeah. So, this tree right here, this one you can see that is literally right on the field. That one I think I can cut, and I think this one I might be able to cut. If not, they're just outside of our land. But yeah, so we'll get that done. And then again, um, field here, kind of probably an L field maybe, and then another field right here. So two more fields would be nice, and this road will run up along here. And then, yeah, we'll really be starting to kind of move into and start using more of our property, which would be nice instead of just having this land sit over here. Because we bought that land several episodes ago. But now we're actually starting to use it properly. And then again, we'll plant grass here. We'll probably do oats and stuff. I'm not sure all of what we're going to plant, but we need to do maybe some oats and some corn. Maybe a little bit more corn, but uh, oats are a primary thing we need to do, and then we'll maybe plant something else. I'll look through the subscriber contracts and see what we got going on. But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.